Hey everyone, uh, James here, bringing you uh, an unboxing video for the Nokia Lumia 920. Um, I pre-ordered it on AT&T on Wednesday, and it was delivered Friday afternoon on the release date, um, which was the 9th. So, let's open it up. Um, quick start guide. There's the phone, I got mine in matte black. There's only two colors that come in matte, it's the black and the... Um, and the cyan so we'll put that to the side real quick the sim card we have uh, the uh, the sim card drawer opener I guess you would call it and then you have uh, information about NFC touch to connect some more paperwork what do you want to learn about the Nokia product uh, and safety guide and then you have the Nokia battery adapter and the USB micro USB plug. So that's all that's in there. Put that to the side. Let's look at the real, the real reason why we're here. Um, this thing is beautiful. I mean, it's it is got some some heft to it. Um, when they say it's heavy, um, I would say it is a little bit heavy, to be honest with you. But um, I mean, it feels so solid. It feels like just a solid piece of one of one material, like just a big block. It's 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 really nice. It and because the curve, if you could see, has sort of a curved back. I mean, it just fits perfect in the hand. So let's talk a little about. Let's take it around. So on the top, we have the uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and we have the. Uh, the SIM draw, it's a micro SIM. On the left side we have nothing. Okay. On the bottom we have the speakers and the micro USB charger. And then on the right side we have the volume rocker, we have the power button, and then we have the uh, camera shutter button. So uh, <clears throat> on, the, on the front obviously is the screen. It's a 4.5 inch um, super sensitive touch uh, capacitive screen an IPS screen um, it's not AMOLED uh, the resolution is um, 1280 by 768 and Nokia is calling it um, HD plus better than HD it has a 60 Hertz refresh rate and it has a uh, 332 uh, pixels per inch which is one of the one of the top I mean there's um, that beats out the iPhone and, and most of the Android phones that are uh, that are on the market right now. Um, it, has, it does have Gorilla Glass, Corningware Gorilla Glass, so we, uh, you know, it'll, it'll um, reduce scratches and stuff like that. And it has great um, sunlight readability. It has the way it adjusts in the sunlight. I mean, they're claiming it's one of the best uh, in the light. I haven't tested obviously. So um let's just take this. Let's get this sticker off. So you can see the screen better. I mean this is this is really nice, beautiful screen. Again, the quality when you I mean I can't I can't stress enough how, how nice the quality is. Um on the back here you'll see it. we'll go from the screen now to the back. So it has an eight mega eight point seven megapixel uh, camera with a Carl Zeiss lens you can probably see it there and dual LED flash um, and it also what's amazing about this camera and what really drew me to this to this phone was um, it has image stabilization so when you're hand shaking um, it really does a good job at um, stabilizing the picture and which helps um, at low light it has incredible low light um, and I'm sure most of you if you're interested in this phone you've already looked at all the YouTube videos and you saw that the sample screenshots right that show all the low light um, all the low light pictures and 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 it obviously is a cut above the rest for sure they have um the camera is a 8.7 megapixel I said dual flash Carl Zeiss lens um, it also has a front facing camera I think it's 1.2 megapixel if I'm not mistaken um, Built in here too in the back. Uh, this has NFC, uh, um, NFC near field communications. 
and uh, also has um, wireless charging. So you can't get to this battery. It's all it's all built in, sort of like the iPhone. It's not a removable battery, um, but it's a wireless charging. So for those of you who bought the the device on Friday, AT&T is giving out a free wireless charging pad. Um, I still have to figure out how I get my hands on that because it wasn't shipped. I think you have to go to a website and just claim it. But um, basically just drop it on and it charges. And there's a bunch of accessories for that as well. Um, so let's talk about dimensions, right? <clears throat> so it is a little heavy. Even though they only say it's uh, it's it's uh, f half a pound. Um, 0.4 something pounds, which is, I don't know, 4 ounces or something like that. It uh, is 5.12 five, 5 inches long, 2.7 inches wide, and, uh, and, and half, a half an inch thick, a little less than half an inch thick. So it's not that thick at all. And for those who have the Lumia 900, which came out last April, I think I, from what I understand, this is even thinner than that. So, um, I mean, the screen is beautiful. So again, it has wireless charging, but you could also charge... You get the micro USB there. Um, it has a gig of memory in here. And it also has 32 gig storage. So, I mean, for most of you, I'm sure you know, this This came out for $100, $99 on contract. I believe it was uh, 5 and change, $5.99 off contract. <clears throat> but on contract, $99. I mean, this is a flagship device. 1 gig of RAM, 32 gig internal memory. I mean... If you look at some of the phones that are out there, even the HTC 8X, which is coming out in comparison with this, has 16 mega RAM and it's $199, right? Um, and uh, the GS3, I believe, is 16, maybe 32. But um, for $99, you just cannot be that. And on top of that, they're giving you a free wireless charging pad for for the people in the in the beginning that ordered it right away. Um, so. I mean, that's a $50 value in itself, so it's amazing. I mean, I think Nokia is just trying to push this out. I think Microsoft's trying to, you know, make a statement in the market. You know, the iPad, the Android has a, and, and uh, iPhone have a, a stronghold on right now. But um, I did have an old Microsoft phone when it first came out, 7.0. Um, it was the HTC Titan. I got rid of that, and I bought the Galaxy Note. So now I'm coming back down in size a little. The Note was a little big. Even though I do, I did love that phone. Came back to this 4.5 inch. I think this is a sweet spot. I mean, it really feels good in my hand. I feel I have small hands, and it feels awesome. Again, weight. I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm not really worried about weight because I had a big Titan, um, the big Galaxy Note, which was 5.3 inch screen. So even though it was light, it was it was big. I mean, this is it just feels solid. It just really feels like it feels like a. I don't know. I never felt something like this before. To be honest, this is in a phone. This is. It's amazing build quality. And the nice thing about this this body, it's a, a polycarbonate unibody, and it's solid core through and through, meaning that if you uh, dent it, scratch it, it's black all the way through. If you get yellow, red, cyan, that color's through and through. It's not going to, if you chip it, it's not going to come out white or black underneath. It's solid color all the way through. Um, the battery is a 2,000 milliamp battery. Um, they're saying that it's about 320 hours standby and about 9 hours talk time. I think that's on 2G, 3, uh, 3G, but if you go LTE, which this does have, by the way, this is an LTE phone on AT&T. It's exclusive to AT&T for six months, in the U.S. here, at least. Um, and, um, yeah, so, six months, AT&T. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, I love it. Love the quality. Let me just put this down. I'm sick of holding it for a minute. Um, what else? 52 hours music playback, 5 hours video playback, 2.6 hours of uh, recording time. It has a dual core uh, Snapdragon S4 processor clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. Um, from what I understand, and I haven't had time to play, obviously, but um, it's really fast. It's really smooth. I think that's why most people get the Microsoft operating system because it's just so fluid. Um, the way it moves, even on the even on the old models, even uh, with with only a single core processor, the way they built the operating system, it just moves so smooth. So, um, again, I'll just take you around to so the top 
bottom, the left is nothing, and the right. I think from what I understand, if I'm not mistaken, on the Lumia 900, they had some plastic buttons here, and I guess people complained about them chipping. But from what I understand, they, they changed it here. These are ceramic buttons. So, um, I mean, they feel the same to me. But these are ceramic, so they don't chip, I guess they had. And if you could look at the screen, I mean, they're so nice. It's got the nice curve on the back. And again, the, the nice back. <clears throat> so what else? Is there anything else? I think I covered everything. Again, NFC has um, NFC and some of the accessories that are coming out where you can um, tap on it. Like the um, JBL music speaker box. You could just tap and play your music through NFC. Um, again, I've seen videos of NFC working fine with Android. But there's only certain things that you could tap and send across, I believe. Um, there's a lot of functions software-wise of this phone that I'll go in in a later review. But uh, for now, I just wanted to give you a quick view of the hardware. Um, again, my take on it so far, <clears throat> I've just been holding it for 15, 20 minutes. I don't want to put it down. It feels awesome. It feels solid. Um, the screen is beautiful. Just the way... Kind of, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the on the edges here, um, they just kind of like curve down towards the uh, the body on the edge, and just it just makes it look like it's um, I don't know, it's like one of those pools that that don't have an edge to it. When you see it, you're like, wow, it's beautiful. It's, that's exactly like it is. It's just like it looks like the screen is just wrapping over the side, so it's really nice. Um, I'm gonna play with it more. I'm gonna turn it on today and see if I can get some some play time with it. But uh, again, if you uh, if you like this, if you like the video, um, let me know. You can leave comments down here on my uh, YouTube. I don't I don't do many of these. If you see on other videos, it's usually about my RV. But um, I'm a cell phone junkie. I love the cell phones. Buy a new one every six months, which my wife doesn't appreciate, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, uh, I was really, uh, thinking about the cyan on the yellow, but I figured, uh, black really just goes well, and I, uh, I thought I'd get kind of bored of the, uh, the color after a while, so I just got black. Um, I think that's it. So, stay tuned for more, um, after I have time to play with it and load this up and we can see the operating system in action but again my first thoughts are this is a beautiful piece of hardware it really feels substantial it really feels like like you're holding uh i don't know some of my friends say their iphone they feel like they're holding jewelry i mean this doesn't feel like jewelry because jewelry breaks easy um this really feels just like like a solid build the one core the one the one pa uh, one piece polycarbonate body just amazing i've never seen it like this before so um, there you go. There's the uh, Nokia Lumia 920, the new Windows 8 operating system. Um, thanks for watching. And have a glorious day.